Hi everyone, welcome to this video all tricks hands on questions. If you like the video, do subscribe to my channel. Now let's get started with the introduction. We will be using the accident data set which we have used in a previous series. So this data is from Kaggle. I'll give the link in the description box. This is the sample of the data. Let me show the file which we will be downloading. It has the IDs, severity, the start times and all the description of the accidents and many other fields. Today we will be mainly working with the description column. Now let's move on to our questions. We need to input a word or phrase from user and then find the count of the word or the phrase in the description column. So let's get started with all drugs. Our first task would be to get our inputs. For that, we'll use the input data. And select our file. And I'm not using the entire data set because it's a very huge file as we have seen previously around 1 GB. So I have just taken some 1500 records from that. Next would be the user search. For that, let's create a text input. Let me give it a search and let me give it a sample. For processing part, we'll have to join, uh, append these two, okay, the accident which we are having. So in the processing, I'll join this accident with the search which we are going to do. Okay, before that, we'll have to actually add a column so that we can at least when we are transposing it or when we are checking the output, we can remove the unnecessary ones. We'll bring in a record ID and from that, for this record, we'll create a record ID. Let me show you how the data is going to look like. We have start time. We'll have a record ID for each record. Next thing would be to append this with our search. For append, first we'll append this data set which we created with the raw ID along with the search. And let me show you the output. Now you see for each row we have the sample is being appended. Next task would be to search that string. For that we can use a formula tool. Hit a column called as count. Here we'll use a function drag x to count the matches which accepts a string along with a pattern. For this string, since we're going to work on description column, let's give description. And here in the search, we have the search column. Okay, so since sample is not available anyway, it's giving a count of zero. Next task would be to filter this out.
For that, we'll go to preparation and select our filter tool. Connect this to this, which is our formula. And create a custom filter. And we'll filter out only the ones which has that search, right? So we'll use contains where we can give the string and the target. So again, in string and target, we'll have the description and the search column respectively. For our data called a sample, we don't have any records. So in the true, we'll get it as blank now. Okay. We we'll have to do few cleaning here. Actually, let me enter some other values so that we will be able to check the record. Okay, so once I entered right, we have 43 records which mention where the right search is valid. Okay, so now this is how our format is. We'll just clean this up so that it appeals better. One thing which we can do is we can transform this, transpose this. So the tree, two input I'll pass to the transpose. So what are the records we need? We need a description. Then we need what we are searching because since it's a user based search and the columns we can keep our count. Let's try this out. Okay, so we are getting the description, the search, and there's an extra column name and the value coming. So we can use a select to remove that value. Let's bring in this select tool. And we can remove this name part. Let's browse this. So now this looks correct. Now we'll have to make it based on user right input. So in for user input, you can go to the interface tool and bring in a text box. Here I will give search here. And I'll connect this to our search, which is the other input so that the update column comes up. Here we'll update the cell. So if you see here, I was having one value, whatever value user is going to mention based on that, this input will get replaced and then the other processings will take place. Now this is done. If you see this, a new symbol has come, which is called as analytical app. Since we added it from the interface tool for user interactivity, this has become an app now. We can either run it. If we run it, it will take the default value. If we want user input, okay, we will have to run it as an analytical app. And let's see, we want to display the output of this output, right? So this is the browse 23. So for that, we'll have to go to the interface designer. We'll go to our settings and here on success, so results to user. So I'll select this browse 23. Then again, we'll go to the view and I'll unselect this. Now let's try running this. Let me keep a value called as crossing. So we see six descriptions where crossing word word mentioned. We can check this in our Excel. So ID 32538. Okay, we have don't have the ID column, right? But it, it all are starting between this at and castle. So we, our value is correct. This is how we can show the output. If you want to 
store this output and give that file that also is possible for that purpose okay let me try something else uh, let's give left lane this is a phrase we'll give and try this again so now 55 records here are displayed okay so if you see this one left lane left lane left lane okay so this is how we can output to the user i'll exit this other format is we can bring in any output data here and connect our select to this let's create a file uh, let's create an excel file keep it as output click and on ok and now let's try running this so let's try crossing no data file specific okay we'll have to change this back okay because selected here browse we'll keep the output data now i'll unselect this and run this click on finish so now this file appears and this file will open up here when we click click on okay and the file will open you can see right all those records thank you for watching